Hope you guys are all doing well and staying warm. I know it's pretty chilly here in Toronto. Uh, today's video, I got something special. I got a package from my friend Matt from Reveni Labs. And we're going to do a little unboxing and we're going to check out what he sent me. So why don't we jump onto the table, we'll open it up, see what we got, and we'll talk about it. Let's open this up. And looks like we got a couple stickers. If you guys want one of these, let me know. I'll do a little giveaway. So here we have it, the star of the show. We got two things in the box. Let's open this up. So it comes in this nicely little packaged box. There's a little QR code if you guys need the user manual. And here is the new Raveni Labs Light Meter Mark II. And this is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. So that's awesome. You know, it fits right in the palm of your hand. So it's super tiny, doesn't take up any space. This is a hot shoe light meter that is made by Raveni Labs. It's made out of a high quality 3D printed nylon and they smooth out the surface using a chemical process and it has a nice little hot shoe here or a cold shoe that you can attach to any camera that you need. It has a very bright OLED display and this is going to show you all your settings. So it has two modes. It has aperture priority or shutter priority, depending on how you like to use your meters. And those are metered in whole, half, and third stop increments. Um, this is the Mark II version of this light meter. So it now has a rechargeable built-in battery um, and it has a micro USB port right here to recharge it. Some other key features are that it also does EV readings if that's something that you need and it'll do EV 0.5 all the way up to EV 20 at ISO 100. It will also do the ISO range from ISO 1 all the way up to 12,800 and also the aperture range is F 0.7 all the way up to 1024 in one stop increments. So if you're shooting pinhole cameras, very old film that's expired and you shoot at a lower ISO, this light meter will be sensitive enough to uh, give you a reading for those. And of course the shutter speed ranges from one hour all the way up to one eight thousandth of a second. So you can set your ISO right over here. So let's say we're doing ISO 400 and you can choose your modes. So now it's in shutter priority or you can do it in aperture priority. Um, if you wanna have any exposure compensation, you can put it in here. Um, if you're shooting with like, let's say a filter and you can choose how you want it displayed. If you want it in third stops, half stops or full stops, I like third stops. And if you wanna have um, EV displayed or not, and it shows you your battery percentage over here. So this is gonna last you quite a while. So now that we have our ISO set, um, we have it in aperture priority, looks good. So what we're gonna do is press this top button over here and that'll give you, that'll give you a reading. So let me just lower this. Let's say I want it at F8. I will point it down at the table over here and click this top button and at F8 it'll give me 15th of a second and if you want to cycle through you can just click this left button to lower your aperture. So let's say you want to shoot it at F2.8 it'll give you a corresponding shutter speed here which is amazing and this is so light you can put this in your pocket it also has two lanyard holes on each side. So if you want to attach this to a uh, lanyard and have it around your neck or hook it onto your backpack, you can. Another thing here that Matt sent me is a cold shoe attachment for the Hasselblad accessory rail. This is super cool and the quality of this is very nice. So how this works is you take your light meter, it has the, uh, the cold shoe right here, and this slides right onto the accessory rail and it's closed off on the other end so you know it's not going to fall off 
and right here on the uh, side of the Hasselblad, you can just slide it right onto this accessory rail. And just like that, you have uh, you have your light meter mounted to your Hasselblad. And anytime you want to take a reading, you just click this top button. Just turn it on over here. So you just click it. It'll give you your reading. So it'll say F2.8 at 50th of a second. And you can just come right in here and put on your corresponding settings. And this light meter will also work on other cameras. So for example, here we have the Nikon F3 and we have the uh, cold sh the hot shoe attachment. So this will just slide right in here. And for example, if your internal light meter doesn't work on your film camera, this is a good accessory to have um, for just taking quick light readings and adjusting your settings accordingly, which is Awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed that little unboxing and little walkthrough of the Reveni Labs Light Meter Mark II. So if you guys do want to check out these light meters, Matt also has a ton of additional accessories. If you want to, uh, different cold shoe attachments for different cameras, right angle ones, vertical, horizontal, whatever it may be, uh, check out reveni-labs.com. I'll leave it in the description. Uh, you'll be supporting Matt in the process. He's a local Canadian maker. So it's great to see somebody local creating such amazing products right here made in Canada. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take out the light meter, we'll take the Hasselblad out, we'll take it into the field, we'll take a bunch of photos, and I will show you guys the results. All right guys, so we have the Reveni Labs uh, light meter on here right now, and there's a really, really cool mirror right over here. And we're gonna do a little test shot with it and see how it looks. So let's take a little light reading over here. I already have it set to 400 ISO. And it's giving me F4 at 60th of a second. I don't know if you guys can see that. See, there we go, it says F4 at 60th of a second. So let's uh, put in our settings and let's take a photo. So F4, 60th of a second. Make sure our dark slide is out. Let's see how we're looking. Right? Perfect. And one, two. <laughs> we are on camera, look. <laughs> Ah, uh, in the back. <laughs> So we're going to take a quick light reading with the uh, Reveni Labs Light Meter Mark II. So it says 2.8 at 80th. Perfect. And one, two, and three. Perfect. And let's do one more look here. Perfect. One, two, three. Nice. Thank you. Done. All right, guys. So we got this crazy fog today. Absolutely incredible. You, you basically can't see anything. But right here, there's these uh, these wires that are going that carry the electricity. And it kind of just looks like an endless road. So we're going to take a quick reading here. Uh, we got the uh, Reveni Labs light meter. And perfect. I'm just going to increase my aperture. Get it at a usable shutter speed. So we got F16 at 200 of a second perfect and i've overexposed it by just a little bit to get the snow nice and white so let's pull out our uh, dark slide let's see what we're working with here perfect oh that looks incredible Got a good shot there. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna get one more with this uh, with this trespassing sign too. It's nicely isolated. 
from the background. Oh, that looks so good. See, I want to get those lines in the back. I think that's gonna might have to go into the snow over here a bit. Yeah, that looks good. Perfect. Okay. And one. Thank you guys all again for watching this video. Hopefully this was educational and fun for you guys as it was for me. I love creating videos like this for you guys. If there's anything else you guys wanna see, whether it's gear related, shooting experiences, vlogs, uh, just leave it down in the comment section below. I appreciate all your support and I will catch you guys on the next one.